Hi guys! Oh my god, I'm so excited to make a video again. I am about to do a review video, which I've actually never ever done in my channel ever. So I'm looking forward to this. It's actually going to be a review for a tablet, a drawing tablet. And one of the reasons I really wanted to do this review is because I really wanted to be able to give this away at one point. It comes into a box like this. It's by a company called Gaumon. There'll be all sorts of like descriptions and info and stuff in the in the description box. First, let me just show you what I currently have. I do all of my digital painting, digital art on this. This Wacom tablet. It's the Intuos. It's the Intuos Pro Small pen tablet and I've had this for a while, it works great. And so I've actually never used any other um, brand other than Wacom. So I'm looking forward to opening this. So I'm gonna open this and show you like my response, my reaction, if that's what you wanna see. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh my god. Okay. I actually really like the packaging. I know this is going to be more about the, um, you know, the drawing itself, but I'm actually really impressed with the packaging. It really reminds me. It reminds me a lot of an Apple product, which I'm such an Apple hoe, but like, um, yeah, I'm guessing this is what they're inspired by, right? Is like the Apple, the sleek Apple look. So, so far, hmm, I like that. I like anything that's white and clean. And <laughs> okay, um, it says Gaumon S620 graphic tablet. Um, this is their logo. Gaumon. Here's the pen. Looks very similar to a Wacom pen. It's a lot lighter, actually, which is interesting. So here's the tablet. It's really small. Oh, this is really cute. And oh my god, they gave me a... Um, like those hand things. Let's see. I've, I've always... <sighs> Am I a real artist now? <laughs> okay. So here's the little tablet. Cool. Pretty cute. Um, so, so far, I'm looking forward to using this. There's four... Um, keyboard shortcut thingies that you can put here but I don't even use these on my Wacom tablet I'm like I need a keyboard and I only use a keyboard so I don't really see myself using these um yeah I'll just I'll just get into it and plug it in and see how it works so I'm gonna quickly just talk about the the artwork very quickly and briefly because it's not really what this video is about it's more about the review of this tablet um yeah, I mean, typical uh, subject matter for me, but um, something that I've kind of realized is kind of happening in my brain lately is I've been having a lot of um, jewelry design ideas, and I'm not quite ready to start like jumping into that hobby and that and that train of like getting a bunch of supplies for jewelry making. So I thought, why not just paint my ideas and just like, you know, paint the earrings and jewelry that I wish I had and that I could create. So that's pretty much what's happening with this. I want like this long ass gold chain with a pom pom on it and, um, and gold, gold like ring, I mean not ring, um, gold bars like on the end of it. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's really what this is all about. So let's get into some notes and what I thought about using this tablet. So um, I enjoyed it. I liked using it. Um, I had to just install the driver um, before I started and that was pretty painless. You just go on the website. Uh, same thing with um, Wacom tablets, right? You just download it and then it will detect your um, pressure sensitivity and stuff like that, which is really like the main reason why we want to use these tablets, right, is the pressure sensitivity. Um, as I was about to start using my usual, my usual brushes, I realized that actually this pen tablet doesn't detect um, your tilt, like, you know, the, the way you tilt your hand, I'll show kind of an, an a quick video here of what that looks like you know the tilting of the way you hold the pen 
It's like it wouldn't it wouldn't turn and stuff depending on the way I held I held the brush. And at first, that kind of annoyed me <laughs> a little bit. I was like, I can't believe this. I can't believe I can't use use my regular brushes. But I took a took a you know took a step back and really realized like wait a second like I really don't don't need that um that was a really nice thing and that was a nice upgrade when um I got into the Intuos Pro and and plus for a long time I didn't even know you could do that with the Intuos um with the Wacom tablets so at one point I did a lot of painting without it so yeah, so if that's if that matters to you, which kind of means to like what that kind of says to me is that maybe if, if you're like a professional and you're making professional drawings, I mean you 100% can make very good work anyway, but I'm just imagining for somebody who is a professional and uses their tablet a lot, they probably want the the tilting function. Um, so yeah, that was the only thing, but I was super determined and I, and I'm a pretty big believer that you can make good art with anything. Like it, you do not need super high quality, high, yeah, expensive products and stuff in order to make good work. So I decided to make a painting using just one brush. It's like the default brush that comes with Photoshop, just the hard round brush and just made the entire painting with that brush so I wasn't using any of my fancy-ish fancy brush and yeah and so that was a good exercise for me too just to kind of get back into that and remind myself of that that I really don't need all this fancy stuff um, and I'm really 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 happy with how the painting turned out I think I got my idea across and all I did yeah was use one brush I did use also the soft round brush which is also a Photoshop de default um, okay, so there there was like a slightly um, scratchy kind of texture to the tablet, like a plastic kind of scratchy texture, but it doesn't bother me personally at all. Like I, I kind of liked it actually. It almost slightly felt a little bit like paper, whereas the Wacom tablet that I'm so used to using, it's really smooth, like very, very smooth, which is nice too. I like that as well. Um, I think they're both fine. Like I don't think there's really that that big of a problem with either um so overall i enjoyed it i was able to you know do exactly what i needed which is to make a painting that i was happy with and so like if you're you know would rather not spend i think the last time i checked on amazon it was like 130 dollars 140 dollars for a wacom intuos pro small which is what i have now you know, if you're saving money and you, or you want to make sure that you like digital art before you go and spend something really, ex spend on something really expensive, I think this is a really, really good option. Um, so first of all, thank you though to Gaumon for sending me a free one so that I can test it out. And this was really my first experience using a totally different tablet. I've always been like, oh, I have to have the best. I have to have Wacom. And for a long time, for a very long time in my art career, I like what I always thought that it was, it was the medium, it was the, the equipment and all that kind of stuff that creates a great art, but it really isn't, it's, it's you. So yeah, if you wanted to save money um, and still get a really good product, I actually also really like how small it is. It's even smaller than the Wacom, it's lighter. I don't know, I didn't take it around anywhere, but I like the feeling of like, oh, this is so small and light. Like, I, I feel like I could just throw it like in my purse and stuff like that. I, I like that. Um, so yeah, I, I actually do like it. And as you can see, I, I think I, I think it still creates like good art, right? Like I'm really happy with how this painting turned out. And I, I'm glad I did this challenge just for myself too, because now I feel like, like I, I just, that belief just kind of got stronger for me that like, it's really not about the it's really, really not about the equipment. It's about, you know, you yourself as the artist and your own creativity and um, your own, like, like I guess, tenacity and determination to make good art no matter what equipment or software or hardware and all that kind of stuff that you have. So, okay, I hope that was helpful or I hope that was, um, oh, and then, oh yeah, and then this thing, this thing is $25 right now on Amazon, which is really quite a steal if really you're just getting into digital art and you want to make sure you like it first or for any other reason like you just want something small and compact and stuff like that 
Okay, I hope that was helpful, and yeah, see you guys in another video. Bye!